a, an upper midline incision should be sufficient unless the patient has a hematologic disorder, in which case a left subcostal incision should be made. EMS emergency call, 78 year old, a man suffering from chest pain, 1734 popular way. Please respond. Okay. You're in the abdominal cavity. Now what? I gently grasp the spleen and displace it medially towards the incision. Good. Then I need to clip the suspensory ligaments. Yes. What do you need to be careful of? All except the gastrosplendic ligaments are vascular. Right. So I will need to ligate them. Very good. When else do they need to be ligated? Um, shit. Um, oh, uh, it's, it's, it's okay. No. It's okay. Shh, shh, shh. Hey, 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 it's okay. It's okay. This is a tough one. Just think for a second. Okay. The ligaments will be vascular in patients with hypertension? Portal hypertension. Good. <laughs> it's obvious you've been studying. EMS needs a 1322 Vista View female, age 25, suffering from knife wound. Please respond. It's only five miles from here and no other houses around. Well, look at that. This may be the night that you get to try out your new knowledge. That was fast. What happened? This fucking asshole tried to kill me. I didn't try to kill her. It was an accident. Whatever. I'll come with you. I do not want him anywhere near me. I'm sorry, sir. You can't ride with us. Policy. Ha! Well, where are you guys going to take her? I have to call a hospital from the road to see if there's a trauma surgeon on call, just in case any tendons or ligaments have been bisected. Oh, great. You hear that, asshole? I might be crippled. For fuck's sake, you crazy bitch. It was an accident. I'm only trying to help. I don't need your help. You've done enough. Sober up, asshole. Did you try and stab her? What? No. We were on the counter and, you know, there must have been a steak knife there and we, we fell. Okay. Why don't you hang tight here? I'm sure the police will want to have a word with you. What? The police? Are you fucking kidding me? She seems pretty upset, and those are some serious allegations. Come on, man, really? Whatever you do, do not leave. Was that your husband? He's an asshole. Oh, okay, it's okay. I'm going to ask you a few questions. Uh, have you been drinking? Well, a few, but it was earlier. Are you on any prescription medication? Nope. Just vitamins. Do you smoke? Never. Jesus, he makes me mad. OK. You really do need to calm down. Do you know what I like to do when I get angry? I like to think about what makes me happy. Tell me, what makes you happy? What? Where's one place you would like to go? If you were just to drop out of society, if you were just to leave everything behind, where would you go? Well, I've always wanted to go to Costa Rica. Nice. I read about this place. No internet, no phones. Just bananas in nature. That sounds really nice. Yeah. Far away from him. Very nice. Now carefully lift it out. Lots of pancreas. Uh, looks good. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All is really got something fresh. Will do.
I've updated all her social media. She decided to give it all up and move to Costa Rica. Did you mention to her friends and not bother looking for her? Oh. For fuck's sakes, Jeffrey. Do I have to fucking watch you every goddamn minute? I'm sorry, Corey. Yeah, we can Give me that fucking phone. Get that in the mail. Get that gurgling bitch out of here. I'm gonna take a nap. Sure. Uh, I'm sorry. Would you stop saying you're sorry? Just don't fuck up anymore. Okay. I'm sorry. Sometimes, it's just because I want you to push yourself. Come on, your last surgery was nearly flawless. Gotta admit, you're getting better. I know. So after the whole dinner fiasco, I was still giving him the benefit of the doubt. So we went for drinks. You're way too nice. Agreed. I would have been out of there before the salad. So anyways, we're sitting there at the Metro and I start asking him about his classes. He starts to fumble, so I press him. Turns out he's not even in med school. He lied to me. He lied. You're kidding me. No, he's in business school. I mean business. Ow. Cindy, are you okay? Yeah. What'd you do? I don't know. Let me see. Ow. Yeah, I think it's worse than you think. Damn it. We're only two hours in. It's about four miles back to the car. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to make it that far. There's another trailhead about three quarters of a mile up. We could go there, call an ambulance, and wait for them there. I don't know. I think it's our only option. Well, take your pack off, leave it here, and we'll get it on the way back. Okay. Okay? Yeah. All right. What seems to be the problem? Bad sprain, I think. May I? Of course. Sorry. Feels like an inversion sprain. Yeah, I'm thinking it's the anterior inferior tibiofibular ligament. You know your anatomy. We're pre-med students. Well, let's get you back to the hospital and get that x-ray. Can my friends come with us? I'm sorry, no one else is allowed to ride in the ambulance. Come on, you can bend the rules just this once. We could lose our jobs. Sorry, ladies. 
It's okay. We'll walk back to the car. I'm sorry, guys. Quit saying you're sorry. We'll be fine. Okay, kids. Here we go. Alright, I'm gonna give you some oxygen. Jeffrey. I like that name. So where were you all hiking? Up to Eagle Point. Oh, it's beautiful up there. Mm -hmm. Coming, pervert? Of course. some food. Who the fuck are you and what are you doing with me? to play nice. What are you? Some pathetic flaccid rapist who has to kidnap women to get laid? 
or some sick fuck that has too much time on his hands. Oh, do I get a response? What's the matter there, Droopy? Cat got your erection? You deranged jackass. You come in here to have your way with me and then you leave rejected? <laughs> Pathetic. Let me tell you something, Stigless. Being held captive in whatever this is ain't exactly a turn on. It is for me. not like that. You're bleeding. I, I was cleaning you. Cleaning me? I was. I, I, I brought you some food. Wow. Thanks, honey. It looks delicious. I, I, I'm sorry. What are you doing? I'm cleaning. Get the hell out! I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Get I, I'm, out! I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> better. Want to make sure your ankle injury doesn't get infected. It's fine. Well, why don't you let me be the judge of that? May I see it? <sighs> Listen, sweetheart. I can give a fuck. But my brother there? Seems to care a little bit more for you than most people who see this room. And I care for him. So in the interest of good family relations, let me see your goddamn ankle. Please. Increase in pain? No. Arthritis? HIV? <laughs> it's a little late for that, isn't it? It increases the risk for infection. Remember? No. Doesn't seem to be broken, so I doubt there'll be any infection. Good. Now, can you walk 
at it? I'm not sure. How about you give it a try? as good as new. But just in case. Turn over on your side. Please. You'll be running again in no time. But we can't have that, can we? No! No! Stop it! Stop kicking! You're just gonna make it worse! Good God, you're spooky. This is morphine. That is one painful ankle. Relax. Stop kicking. And you get relief. Keep kicking. Enjoy the pain. What's it gonna be? Lean your head back and open your mouth. Stay off it for a while. Did you drug me? Yep. The food? The drink, actually. Why? Delicious. You don't need to drug me. What? You don't need to drug me. I'll do whatever you want, just don't drug me or kill me. Acquiescence. Interesting. Surrender is as honorable as resistance, especially if one has no choice. My angel? Hedy. Do we have a deal? You think you're in any position to make deals? Do we? <laughs> okay. Do it your way. See you soon.
darkness in her. It's almost like we don't have to. Are we gonna talk about it? Do we need to? I do miss her. Me too. I guess this one will just have to do for now. Keep trying. You'll get through to her. Thank you. Having a guest putting a kink in your crazy? Well, vacation isn't a bad thing. Is that what I am, a vacation? For now. How long are you planning on keeping me? It's unclear at this juncture. Probably until we need to earn some money. Money? <laughs> you think we just kill people? I have no idea. A man is defined by his behavior. Ah, but to truly know a man, you must walk a mile in his moccasins. We provide a service. So you sell the organs from your victims? We prefer the term patient. You seem to be missing the glaring contradiction. Oh, do tell. You are killing people in the process. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Machiavelli? Spock, actually. Common mistake. One body can bring life to nearly a dozen people. Bring sight, repair scarring from horrific burns. Those who have never experienced a life without suffering can have that suffering go away. Every day, organ donor lists have over 120,000 people on them. So you're going to help them all? <laughs> Come now, it's not realistic. We're just doing our part and keeping jobs and work right here in America. So you're patriots as well. We're certainly helping boost the economy. Face it. You are a sadistic sociopath that get pleasure from the suffering of others. Some trauma has made you slip from reality into psychosis and you are completely out of touch with who you become. You represent the worst the human race has to offer. You are not saviors, nor eradicators of human suffering. You cause it, and then justify it with backward logic. Do I offend thee? On the contrary. A brave man is a man who dares to look the devil in the face and tell him he is the devil. James Garfield. Impressive. So what's your plan? Excuse me? Well, you seem to be in an impossible situation. Held captive by two men who clearly have no concern for human life. Your life hangs in the balance, not knowing if the next words out of your mouth are going to bring a rage that ends you. Plus, you're forced to do what I imagine you consider to be despicable acts on a regular basis. No idea where you are separated from your friends, your family. You seem way too smart, driven, and tough to just lay down and die. So what's your plan? I 
I'm going to turn your brother against you. Good plan. It's exactly what I would do. Uh, no rapey rape today? Nah. All this talk has ruined my mood. Why do you do these things? <laughs> I'm sure you'll get out of Jeffrey. Patriots. Oh God, I'm so sorry. It's okay, you can turn back around. Jeffrey, turn around. This sweater. Oh, I know. They both look about the same, but um, I actually think I kind of like this. Yeah, better like that. <laughs> well, this skirt is absolutely. <laughs> I think you look fine. Fine? I hope I look a hell of a lot better than fine. Don't ever tell a woman that she looks fine. I'm sorry. Yeah, better than fine. I'm, I'm sorry. You don't have to say that you're sorry. I'm just joking. I, I, I brought you some food. I see that. Oh! oh, oh I, I'm sorry. It's okay. Oh. It's okay. Is this pudding? I like pudding. Me too. Please get it up, baby. Hi. Hi. I thought you might want to wash up a bit. That's great. You're so sweet. Will you wet the washcloth for me? get my back for me. I can't reach it. Mm. That feels good. A little harder. Mm. Get it more wet. What? The washcloth. Oh. <laughs> Under my arms, please.
That's a pretty nice spread. What's that? Well, I figured it was about time to get a comprehensive health history of our little guest. Why? Why? Come now, brother. We've been doing this a while. Besides, remember what mom used to always tell us? When you're a man, don't be silly. Be always careful where you put your willy. But, but you are. I got this. Hey, bro. I'm good to see you too. I have a nice meal for you. Food for a change. You did this? It was my brother. Seems to have taken quite a fancy to you. Really? While you eat, I just have a few questions for you. Questions? Standard stuff. Just general health history. You mean like free surgery? I'll ask the questions. You just enjoy your little meal. Suit yourself. Let's see. Any history of diabetes in the family? <sighs> Listen. Like everything in here, it can go two ways. So why not just answer the question before it becomes a thing? No. Good. How about high blood pressure? No. Do you know your blood type? Oh, negative. A lot of people don't know that. I'm pre-med. Remember? All right. How about any history of mental illness? Not me. Okay. That was good. Now this is gonna get a little personal. I hope you don't mind. Any way I can help you, doctor. Well, aren't you just quite the flatterer? Technically, I never quite finished the internship. What a surprise. Murder not on the syllabus? Circumstances beyond my control. I'm sure. So, how many sexual partners have you been with? 18. <laughs> wow. At such a tender age. Is that 18 counting me? I don't count you. Nice. Okay. Have you ever been sexually so... You know what? Let's skip that question. Ever been diagnosed with any sexually transmitted diseases? Lately I've had a pretty bad case of the quarries. Cute. How about when you were whoring around in college? Chlamydia twice. You're your plasma once. Chlamydia twice? Same guy. Didn't learn your lesson. He was a great fuck. Big. 
fat, cock. It was worth the few days of antibiotics. Oh, ain't that romantic? How about any same sex experiences? I went to college, didn't I? That doesn't necessarily mean that sure you had. Does. We all experimented in college. I'm sure you sucked a cock or two, didn't you? Some drunken night, the hunky paternity brother who you were never quite sure about. Somehow you find yourself being put to bed by him, undressing you, just so that you're comfortable. Shoes, pants, shirt, the back of his hand brushes against it and it twitches. It's all the invitation he needs. A little petting that feels surprisingly good as your alcohol-stewed brain lets your lifelong curiosity flow. His strong mouth keeps you on the border of pain and pleasure until you explode in it. His husky grunt brings you back to realization. You're really with a man. Now it's your turn. It's only polite, right? The weight of his body on your chest causes you to fight for breath, and then it's in your mouth, your throat. Even though it doesn't make any sense, it's surprisingly hard to suck and breathe at the same time. As he speeds up and thrusts harder, the alcohol begins to fade, and the numb experience turns into vivid reality. Every touch, smell, taste, gag. You are now experiencing it all, and you try to stop him, but his legs have your arms pinned. Hmm. You wonder if that was intentional. But the thought was interrupted by violent thrusts and warm ejaculates shooting down your raw throat. Then the beast rolls off of you. He mumbles something about how he thought that would never happen, but he's happy it did. And it's your little secret. He leaves to let you dream about toothbrushes, but you're too weak and emotionally drained to get up. The next day you feel surprisingly good as you joke and wrestle with the other brothers. There's almost zero tension between you and let's call him Phil. It never happens again, but way back in the recesses of your mind, you kind of wish it had. Well done. Although I was never in a fraternity. Now tell me about yours. You know the two girls I was hiking with? You mean Kylie and Rebecca? How... How do you know their names? Oh, they called and texted you. Quite a lot. Very concerned about what happened to you. They were... Oh, yeah. What did you tell them? Well... We told them that you were leaving the country on an extended vacation. You had some savings that they didn't know about, and you just needed some time to reassess. Eventually, they gave up. Guess your little bi-curious story will have to wait. But I gotta say, it's kinda hot. May I? <laughs> Look at me. Asking. Mmm. You feel 
feels so good. You're so nice to me. I... I, I like you. You do? I like you too. You're so sweet, and your brother's such an asshole. He's had a lot of bad things happen. More than you? What happened to you two? What do you mean? You know what I mean. We had a sister. Her name was Hope. We, we were all close growing up. Very close. But then she went away to school. And I, I guess something happened there. But she didn't say. And then our parents died. And, and then she came back and she taught us things, everything. We swore that we would never leave each other, that we would always be each other's family. And, and then Corey went to school and started dating other women. And it broke Hope's heart. Our family was falling apart. And then she got sick. She needed a heart transplant because Corey broke her heart. She was, she was on a list. But no heart could be found. And then she died. We swore that we would never let that happen to another family. So that's what goes on in here? In this room? Yes. We help people get needed organs for their loved ones. Courageous. Thank you. So, why haven't you? Why haven't you? What? Why am I still? I could uh, really use a bath. Can you get me some soapy water? I'd be happy to.
Looks like you two finally hit it off. She's nice. She's very much like her. Isn't she? Yes. I think she might be her. You think? Yes. She feels like her. She does. She seems to like you. Brother, please. Please. Don't destroy her again. I didn't destroy anybody. You broke her heart! You, with, with your other women, you, you it killed her! She wanted to be a family! I don't think you need to worry about that this time. Don't! Just, just don't! Okay, I won't. Just relax. Promise! I don't think I really need to. Promise! Jeffrey, remember who you're talking to. Mm -hmm. You need to calm down. No, no. Just because you got some pussy doesn't mean you can start ordering me around. No, it's not like that! Yeah, I fucked her too. I mean, she's all right. Fed better. Stop that! You can have her. I'm already done with her. No. Just like before. Stop it! 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 I'm happy for you. Just remember who loves you most. Okay? I understand. Have fun. <laughs> that was great. Really? Even after Corey? Are you serious? <laughs> He's had more practice. You're so much better than him. Not even close. Good. Plus, you're kinder and gentler. All the things a real man should be. Really? Oh, yeah. Hope used to say that. Why didn't? Never mind. No. What? Why didn't you ever leave him? Corey? Yeah. We were going to. You were? Because she was sick, we were going to wait until she got better. But she didn't. We never got the chance.
hell is that? The surprise. I can't have you interfering with it. Usually we leave them unconscious for the surgeries. But this show is a special treat. Just for you. <laughs> What's going on here? Is this a hospital? Oh, ain't that sweet? He don't understand. <laughs> Let him go. Well, that's not gonna happen. See, young Donald here has some things that others need more than he does. Please, please don't do this. Do what? Do what? Oh, it's gonna happen. Kidney City, baby! Jeffrey! Jeffrey, no. don't! No! Don't! No! 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 no. God, no! Why don't you do something? Jeffrey! No! Don't! Wow, he has some volume. What is this? I guess you're over your little asthma attack. God. You son of a bitch! we have with you is far from the norm. No one that has ever seen this room has lasted more than a few minutes. I hope you realize how special you are. I also want you to understand how precarious the situation is. Don't fuck with me. Sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. Corey gets mean sometimes. O okay. I'll leave. I'm I'm sorry. Come here. Better than he is. 
he, he's always been there for me. Jeffrey, this is your second chance. What do you mean? We could go. What? Jeffrey, let's get away from here. You don't want to live like this. I don't. <laughs> we could be so much more to <laughs> I don't. I, I can't. <laughs> you do. Are you serious? Of course. Do... Do you love me? Of course. <laughs> I do. You do? Yes, yes, I did, but I, I didn't know you did. Well, now I... We have to be careful. I'll, I'll figure out a reason to go into town. And then I'll get you some clothes and I'll fill up the car. We have to figure out a way to distract Corey. Now I'll think of something. Okay. I, I better go. Corey gets a little weird when I'm down here too. Hi, brother. How's our little guest? Is she mad? No. She's all right, I, I guess. Really? What did she have to say? Nothing. Nothing? She's mad, actually. Well, which one is it? Is she mad or is she okay? Um, she she, she's... Because if she's not okay, then we may have to, you know. No. She, she's okay. She's okay. Maybe I better go check. No! Um, she, she's sleeping, actually. Okay. I'll just trust that you took care of her then. I did. You like her being here, don't you? Yes. Me too. Reminds me of old times. It does? Oh, yeah. When we would all cook together and eat together. Sure. Remember how she used to love bread pudding? Yeah. Wow. She could eat that all night and day. <laughs> that was Hope's favorite. Yeah. Favorite. When 
was the last time we ate bread pudding? It's been a while. Doesn't that sound good right now? I think we have everything to make it. Oh no. You know what? We don't have any raisins. Maybe I, I could go into town and get some. Oh, but that's too far. We can make it without. Ooh, but it, it's much better with raisins, I think. Yes, it is. But I can go get No! Mm. I, I don't mind. You would do that for me? Sure I would. Boy, am I lucky to have a brother like you. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do if you ever left me. But you would never leave me, would you? No. You're my brother. I would never leave you. Why, why would I leave you? you go get those raisins and I'll make you the best bread pudding you ever had. Okay. <laughs> that I figured you would turn him but not that quickly I'm sure I don't know what you're speaking about sir oh come on what was it you underestimate the power of a good lay pussy power <laughs> you've got to be kidding let's call it a vagina victory a rose by any other name Classy. Well, I think you underestimate family loyalty. Whatever do you mean? Oh? <laughs> I know I challenge you, but did you really think I would ever let it happen? We had a deal. Deal? My syphilis gone to your brain? We never had a deal. This is my life we're talking about. My life! And you are screwing with it. And what about mine? Oh, good God, all this time you've been here and you still don't get it. I don't give a shit about your life or anyone else's. I thought that was crystal clear. All that do-gooder or helping people bullshit is for Jeffrey's benefit to keep him in line. We bring people here, kill them, and make huge money. And I enjoy it. <laughs> what aren't you getting? Sure, you're a bit warmer than the women I usually fuck. But it's 
still nothing more than a sperm dump. And your likeness to hope only you kept me aroused at the beginning. But then you had to go and ruin it by enjoying it. Just like Hope did. And she turned to him, just the way you did. And like you too, they were going to run off together. Run off! And leave me alone! They owed me everything! I was working my ass off in med school to take care of them. Just because I was banging other chicks? Really? Those two got so fucking needy after our parents died. It was like a jury charge and he had one. Comforting each other all the time with their awkward sex. Ugh! Jesus! I trained them both. You think they'd be better at it? Then they made their little plans behind my back. You really think she died of a broken heart? Poisoned her. Stupid fucking idiots. She loved that damn pudding. Do you know how easy it is to hide poison in raisins? So you killed her? The system killed her. I just gave it a... A little nudge. For fuck's sake, you... You truly are twisted. Twisted is as twisted does, right? I don't think that's the quote. Whatever. The doctor is in the building! So you stopped having sex with Hope because she started enjoying it? What kind of fucked up bitch starts to enjoy sex with her brother? I may be twisted, but even I have my limits. Watching those two together made me sick. So you're gonna kill me too? Whoa! <laughs> You really thought you were going to get a reprieve. And you call me crazy.
those raisins? No. No. No! What did you do? She was working you. What? No, she wasn't! Oh, come on, brother. She was using you to escape. Had to be done. Hey, you're ruining my work, Jeffrey. Jeffrey, no! She loves me! She loves me, and I love her! What did you do? You are not doing this again! Not again! She loves me! She loves me! What did you do? You are not doing this again! Not again! We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Shh, shh, shh. Shh. We're okay. It's okay. It's with us. <laughs> Jeff? <laughs> Jeff? 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 Myocardial infarctions? Oh, come on. Say it with me. Myocardial infarction. Infarction. Find this. Oh, hey, miss. Port of a woman, early 20s. 
20s, the broken leg near Lake Five Knot. She reports she is about 300 yards up the trail. For all you need to it's only about three miles from here. Let's take it. Hello? Paramedics? We're here to help. Over here. We're coming. I think my leg's broken. Can you take a look? Yes, ma'am. Which one? The right one. Have we met before? You know, I believe we have. Corey! Oh. I'm Kylie. This is Rebecca. We're friends of Cindy's. Enjoy your naps, bitches. <laughs> hey there. You piece of shit. What an unexpected surprise. Who is me? How does it feel being on the other side? Not too bad, actually. But that might be the side of the talking. Well, it's gonna get real bad real quick. Where's Jeffrey? Jeffrey! Jeffrey! Cut him down. Not a chance. Cut him down! He's got the best seat in the house. Be dead eventually. <laughs> so you and the other power puff girls gonna cut me up. <laughs> oh, we're not gonna do it all. I imagine these fine people have a bone to pick with that. Pun intended. Cindy, you can't do this to him. He won't be able to handle it. It's too much for him. We'll find out. No. Please. Just kill me. Just don't make him watch. It was all me. He was just doing what I asked. Shut up! Stop it! Stop! Jeffrey. Yeah. <sighs> 
I'll be right back. Don't start without me. Can I help you? You got the liver, kidney, and lungs? Excuse me? Look, sugar. I got 140K here for a liver, some kidneys, and some lungs. You got them or not? Can you give me 45 minutes? Sugar? <laughs> 